In a world of ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini, Apple didn't want to feel left out. So Apple announced its own AI offering called Apple Intelligence. Apple has given its own character to its AI offerings and I like it for most part. What is Apple Intelligence? Can it dethrone ChatGPT, Copilot and other AI models? How can you get this feature? I'll answer everything in this video. Hi, this is Anjana and welcome to the Tech Girl channel. Let's explain what Apple Intelligence is first. I'm gonna just call it Apple AI. Apple AI is not a replacement for ChatGPT or Copilot. It's built for different purpose. ChatGPT learned everything that's on internet and it lets you ask questions in natural language for which it responds back with internet knowledge. But Apple AI, on the other hand, learns everything that's on your iPhone and Mac. It learns about everything in your messages, your emails, your notes and your photos and then it lets you ask questions in natural language and it will respond back appropriately. Even though the base technology is the same, Apple is using AI for a slightly different purpose to enhance experience of using your iPhone and Mac. That being said, nothing Apple announced today was revolutionary, groundbreaking or something we have not seen already. Apple introduced the same features as Google, Copilot and ChatGPT but in a much more organic way. Apple did its usual thing of doing the same thing others have done much much before but in a sleeker, more cohesive and integrated fashion with the Apple ecosystem. Okay, before we get into what Apple intelligence can do on your iPhone or Mac, when is it coming out? Apple said it will be available in fall as a beta version which means it's not available with iOS 18 beta. But more importantly, it's not even coming to all devices running iOS 18. It's only available with iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, not even in the iPhone 15. Apple's reason for this is it needs more powerful chip like A17 Pro and M1 chips and so iPhone 15 cannot run Apple intelligence. This is such a bad news because I own an iPhone 15 as well and I won't be able to use Apple AI on it. For a device just 9 months old and not being able to run a new feature, it's really disappointing. The reason for this is how Apple is implementing the Apple AI. Most AI models like ChatGPT, Copilot, Gemini are all very large AI models and need extensive computational power. Most smartphones are not powerful enough to run them on the device itself. But Apple AI is built differently. Apple decided to run its AI model locally on device itself. This has some benefits and disadvantages. If you run them locally, the operations will be much faster, much more secure and doesn't need internet to work as expected. The experience will be much better. The downside, it won't be powerful enough like the large models like ChatGPT and their capabilities will be limited. They are still intensive enough that only the A17 Pro and M1 chips or later can run them locally. Even to run an AI model like Apple Intelligence, it will need a large language model. And from the presentation, I could figure out what LLM Apple is using. It could be Ajax LLM or Open ELM. Not sure? If you know, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, I've spoken a lot about Apple intelligence itself, but let's talk about what it can do to your iPhone or Mac. To simplify again, Apple intelligence does three things. Improve Siri in a big way, generative image features, writing tools. Apple has improved Siri in a major redesign with the help of Apple AI. Siri was this dumb personal assistant which can do one simple action, answer one direct question and redirect you to the internet for everything else. Now with Apple AI, Siri can answer more personal questions, respond with details in multiple iOS apps, perform actions across photos, notes, messages and more, and perform like ChatGPT for your iPhone. It's truly a personal assistant now. First off, there is a new logo for Siri. To represent the wider integration with iPhone, the logo covers the whole screen now. It now looks like a Google Assistant visual on all sides of the phone. Second, finally you can interact with Siri not just with your voice but by typing also. It lets you double tap at the bottom of the screen to chat with Siri. I don't have to whisper anymore at night to set an alarm. And another major improvement which Google Assistant has had for years, Siri can now understand conversational context which means you can ask a follow-up question or action and Siri will understand what you said before. My first gripe Every enhancement about Siri so far doesn't need A17 or M1. Apple could have at least brought the conversational context to all iOS 18 devices. 
but unfortunately it's coming only to the pro phones what else can siri do now with the help of apple ai since apple ai now has knowledge across apps and personal infos like photos notes and all your messages you can ask siri very personal questions and siri will be able to respond back accurately for example you can ask siri about the song your husband shared last week and it will be able to identify that your husband shared a song from apple music in messages and retrieve that song for you chat gpt with its internet knowledge will not be able to do this Another example you can ask about when your mom's flight is landing. Apple demoed this in the event. Siri with the help of Apple AI can understand that your mom shared flight details via email and it can pull up live flight information. This looks simple but Siri had to know who the mom is. If contact person shared any flight details in messages, emails, photos etc and then look up the info. It's not a simple Google search, it's a lot more personal and no more about you. It's becoming that true personal assistant it was meant to be. Another big improvement to Siri is it now supports on-screen awareness, which means it can understand whatever is there on the screen and take actions. Apple again demoed a really cool example. There was a message with an address from a person. Siri was asked to add the address to a person's contact card. Siri was able to understand the address, understand the contact and take action to update the contact address. It would have taken at least 10 clicks to perform the same action across two different apps manually. It does resemble like the circle to search feature, but I'm not sure if it can do the same on-screen awareness for web pages and stuff. If it could, that would be extra cool. I can already search for photos of a particular person or an object today in Photos app. But photos and video search is also getting a big upgrade using AI. You can now ask Siri to search for any person with specific attributes to perfectly search for that one particular photo easily. It's supposed to work even on videos. Know that Google also has a similar feature released called Google Ask. But Google is doing its processing on cloud while Apple is doing all the processing processing on the device and should be much faster. That's already a huge improvement over existing Siri. But Apple is bringing Apple AI to other places as well, like image generation. Remember I said Apple AI is doing all its processing on device and not as powerful as Copilot. Even though Apple AI can generate images, it can do only small scale image generation. For example, cleanup is coming to photo editing. This is like magic eraser feature in Google Pixel and Samsung phones. It can clean up objects or unwanted people from photos. In messages, you can generate emojis as per your description. Apple showed a few examples and it looked really cool to be honest. The big part is not the image generation itself, but being able to use custom emojis so easily while texting someone is the doing it better part. It does have a proper image generation based on specific prompt. This is available across apps like messages, notes, freeform or even as a standalone app if needed. But I'm assuming this is something which will use the private cloud processing instead of on-device processing. Finally, the third usage of Apple AI in iPhones and Mac is the writing tool. This is very similar to ChatGPT and Copilot in many ways. As the name suggests, Apple AI can help you write, summarize or proofread text you have written in your messages, emails, notes, etc. This again is not a groundbreaking feature, but what's interesting is Apple has integrated this in two places, which I think is pretty cool. This feature is built into emails app, which will help summarize all your long emails for you. Copilot already does this with Outlook integration, but it's a paid feature in Copilot Pro, while Apple AI is free for all iPhone users. Second cool implementation detail is it will also summarize your notifications and emails for you. In most cases, the first line of an email or text notification is useless to understand context. Apple AI will understand the context and put the appropriate overview in notification or email view. I feel this was pretty cool. You see, Apple could have ended their Apple AI features right there, but there was one more thing. Remember I said Apple AI has the knowledge only of your iPhone? This was a highly limiting issue. What if user asked for a lunch recipe or fitness recommendation, which Siri does not have the internet knowledge of? To fix this, Apple has partnered with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT with Siri as well. 
when you ask a question to Siri and Siri understands that it does not have the knowledge of, it will hand off the request to ChatGPT and respond back with the response from ChatGPT. It's using the latest GPT 4.0 and which is free of cost as well. Again, this is nothing revolutionary because you can do this yourself using shortcut commands. But integration at Siri level is very nice to see. Apple also promised that it will integrate other AI models in the future as needed. I think this is a hint at integrating Google Gemini model as well. We'll have to wait and see on that. Okay, we spoke about a lot of things. What's my overall take? I really really like and appreciate Apple for not really creating yet another ChatGPT or Copilot. Apple created something that can genuinely enhance user experience with the power of AI and not really forcing AI for the sake of it. To make Apple AI more personal, it's taking a lot of user data like messages, photos, notes and more. This is concerning. but. Apple also spent a lot of time talking about how they are making it more private and secure while doing all this, which is assuring. As I said, my only gripe is letting iPhone 15 Pro and the newer phones to access Apple AI. Otherwise, I'm super excited to try this out as soon as it's available. Subscribe to see hands-on video on Apple Intelligence as soon as it's out. Also, a like to the video would be amazing. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you all in the next video. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.